Right, so hello everyone, what's up? It's Alex and Mr. Mousebear here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Group Manager and the Essentials plugin. You need Essentials to install Group Manager, so this is uh, a Group Manager installation and how to use, not an Essentials, how to use, just you need Essentials to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is download Essentials. So if you go to Google, uh, which is here, type in Essentials, there you go, and it'll come up Essentials 1.2 for Bucket. Uh, click on the because um, it's bucket.dev. Click on bucket.dev, and you'll get this download page. If you scroll down a little bit, you're going to want to go ahead and click Essentials Core Download. That's going to start downloading, and Essentials Group Manager Download. That'll start downloading. And once I've downloaded, there will be wherever your downloads are, wherever your things get downloaded to. Mine comes straight to the desktop, as you can see here. So once you've got those, you're going to need WinRAR, which I will supply in the uh, description. You don't want to open up Essentials here got four jar files you want to highlight those and drag them onto your desktop and open up essentials group manager drag those onto your desktop and now you can go ahead and delete these jar files like so and clear them out of your cycle bin you won't need them anymore open up your server folder which is right here go into your tutorials actually now I'll open up this one Tutorials, uh, Bucket Server, and go into your Plugins folder in your Bucket World. Drag these jars in here, and go ahead and start your server. Now you may see, or well, what you want to be checking for in in this really is that it says Group Manager somewhere, or uh, in permissions enabled in permissions. Group Manager World Found. This is what you want to see. So as long as you see that, you're good to go, which you should do. Uh, you obviously, if you don't see that, you've done something wrong. So go back over and check the steps. Then you can go ahead and stop your server by typing stop in the command and then pressing space. Uh, go back into your plugins folder and you'll see that you have some folders here. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you group manager first. If you go into worlds and your world, which as you can see my world name is world. So plugins, group manager, worlds, world. Then you've got groups and users. Don't, doesn't really matter about the users at the moment, just do groups at the moment. So open this. And uh, I like to open in Notepad++, uh, so if you right click and open in Notepad++, I will provide a download link to this in the description, but it just makes things a lot easier and things like that. So these are your groups guys, so here you have the default group, the builder, the moderator, the admin, owner. So that's the groups guys, just so you know, just so you're aware of that. And now if you go back and go into the essentials, click on config, sorry I need to open in Notepad++ actually. And scroll down until you see Essentials Chat, which is right here. You'll see that here you have Format, Display Name, Message, and Format, Group, Display Name, Message. Right, this is basically, if you have, you see these things have little hashes in front of them. This means it's going to ignore whatever this is. Um, I don't know what it comes as a standard. I think it comes as, <coughs> I think it comes as this is standard, actually. Uh, with uh, the hashtag so it's going to ignore the group this is what you want to do, you want to enable that right, by taking that away and putting a hash symbol in front of there if I can find the hash symbol on my keyboard, there we are so that was how you'd be able to get the display name and the message but the way I like to do it is actually put the hashtag in front of where it says group so if you guys do this you can follow the steps put the hashtag in front of where it says group but you're probably thinking hang on a second now we're not going to get the groups but you are don't worry guys uh, so leave this one untagged so it's just the display name in the message and we'll leave this one tagged so that it will not display like this it will display like this so if we go ahead and save that now close down notepad plus plus and start our server and go ahead and open minecraft once we log in, we'll connect to the server and I'll show you what's going on. So multiplayer, there we go. Here's the server. So as you can see, I'm in the server now. This is a new world that I've just generated. Um, and I, if I just tap in, hi. As you can see, this is as the config showed. Now it's, you know, it's like here, as you can see, it's just the name and then the message. There's no group. That's how we told the, the Essentials config to manage it, didn't, didn't we, if you remember. Okay, so what we need to disconnect now. Minimize Minecraft and stop the server. There we are. Right, go into your world, not into your world, sorry, go into plugins, go back into group manager, 
worlds, world, and open up your groups. To enable it to be able to say the default, or be able to say it to make it say builder, we have to add a prefix. Now this is the way I like to do it, guys. You can, you guys can do do it a different way. But what I like to do, we'll, we'll alter, we'll alter the builder one first, actually. So we want it to say builder in front of that name, don't we? So this is the this is the group builder, yeah. And in the prefix, and two is a color, and I think it's green. I'm not sure all the colors on the internet. Uh, but we're going to type an open bracket, or you, you can do any bracket. You can even you can do like that, or you can do like that, or you can do that, or you can do a normal bracket like that. But I like to keep it square, and I'm going to put in here builder, and then close it off. So as you can see, the prefix is what's going to come in front of the message, in front of your name, sorry. So we want builder to come in front of our name, yeah? And build is true, so the player will be able to build on the land. So if we go ahead and save now. File. Save. Close this down. Start our server. By clicking run. Go into here. Connect to the server. If I type hi you'll be able to see that my group doesn't come up as a builder because as you join, if I if you go back into here a second, as soon as you join the server, if you just get open open back up your group manager, that the default group is default. So when you first join the server you will be default as the default group. A lot of defaults there. And as you can see builder is on false. So what we want to do now is to be able to promote myself to a builder, I have to go into the Minecraft chat and type dash man you add exactly like that space my name space the group that we want so builder there you go you've been moved and to now the group you can builder. see if I type hello in the chat that it comes up builder Mars bar hello so that's just pretty much a quick tutorial on how to do this guys you can go ahead and change the group so I could if I stop the server a second if I just disconnect so we're just disconnect from the server guys I've had to stop my minecraft um, stop the server, press space, go back into here, and let's change the moderator to uh, Peeny Ween. Just a, just a random thing. And then obviously you need to add the prefix, so you put a square bracket, put Peeny Ween. I don't know what colour and 5 is, but I know the colour and... Seven no, and eight is dark grey, so we'll put this as and eight, so this will come up as dark grey. Dark grey. We'll save that now. Close that down. Start up our server again. From there. Open up Minecraft. Log in. And once this is logged in. Oh, where's the server there is? If I type if I type in the chat you see that I'm still a builder, so I need to promote myself by doing dash man you add Mars bar to Peeny Ween. You've been moved to the group Peeny Ween, so if I type hello, Peeny Ween, so as I said, it was grey, and it says, see, Zag, Peeny Ween is grey. So that's pretty basic, in tutor basic tutorial on how to use group manager, guys. And if, you, if this tutorial helped or you need any further assistance, please go ahead and leave a comment and I'll be sure to help you as much as I can. So, yeah, I hope this helped, guys, and peace out.